Jonathan Cannons here from Massive Gold Blueprint and Secret Warcraft. And today's pipeline of the day is Large Radiant Shard. This is what I would call a sort of meat and potatoes pipeline item, the sort of thing that isn't going to disappear and it's going to be a money maker. It's been a money maker for a long time and it's going to continue to be a money maker for the foreseeable future. And I'm going to explain exactly why that is in today's Pipeline of the Day video. The characteristics of Large Radiant Shard that make it such a steady pipeline item and really a classic example of the pipeline method that I teach is that it's in low supply a lot of the time and yet there's a moderate and kind of never-ending demand from enchanters who really need uh, a few of these, not a lot, but they always need them for some really quite nice enchants that are very useful especially for players who are leveling up towards 60. So the enchants that Large Radiant Shard is used for, just a few of them really, but the good ones are uh, good examples are the uh, enchants for gloves, uh, riding skill which gives you a speed boost in, uh, in riding, well, and the minor haste enchant for gloves which gives you a, a, a running speed boost. And then there's a couple of weapon enchants, the greater impact for a two-handed weapon and greater striking for a one-handed weapon. And all of those are very uh, good selling enchant scrolls. So uh, large radiant shards, as I say, a steady demand because there's always some demand for the scrolls that are made with them. And the thing that leads to the low supply, which is the other part of that equation, the supply and demand equation that leads to good pricing opportunity and, and profit opportunity, is that these are disenchanted from greens and blues in a, an item level where there just isn't a lot of stuff being uh, dropped, gotten as drops in instances. So it's the kind of the item level range around 42 to 45, somewhere in there. That's what yields a large radiant shard. So there just aren't a whole heck of a lot of these um, materializing in the game and not very productive to go out and farm them if you're trying to make gold by farming instances. So uh, limited supply. Now, you don't really need to know the rationales, what it's used for, or why the supply might be low, because the pipeline method is all about pure auction house play, and it's based on the concept of simply knowing the prices that are realistic on your server for at the very low end and at the very high end. And just to, for the example here, the target buy price, which is what I call it, is 15 gold and the target sell price is 30. So looking in the auction house right now you can see that there um, there's a few available. What have we got? Uh, about 15 or so, maybe 20. And they range in price from about 20 gold up to 25 and then to 30. Now if you were playing in the sort of standard auction house method which is using auctioneer to buy things for about 10 or 15 or 20 percent below their given price. So exa for example here if you look in the browse tab using auctioneer you get a, an, a, a, an indication that 19 or 20 gold is worth about 85 percent of the true market value according to auctioneer and then a hundred percent of value is about 25 gold and the standard way of playing the auction house is then you just buy the ones that are at 80% and sell them at 100% or 110% of value and, and hope that's good enough to make a good profit. But that's really not good enough. And so the method that I show with the pipeline method, and I'm, I'm going to explain this so that you know what you're looking at in the rest of the pipeline videos in this series and also in my daily Twitter comments. Uh, there's a pipeline of the day every day in Twitter where I talk about the target buy and target sell. So my target buy on this server is 15 gold and the target sell is 30 gold. And if I show you bean counter, which records actual trans transactions, you can see that that's realistic. If you just looked in the auction house and browsed it right now, you might say, well, I can't sell this for 30 or 35 gold and I can't buy it for 15 gold. So what are you talking about? But here you go. Uh, you can see that I sell consistently and frequently. This is just a bunch of recent transactions, 32 gold. Well, actually, the sell price was 3340, 3140, 3240. Lots selling, lots selling, lots selling. 2880, a little bit lower. Obviously, I compromised a little bit there. And then here are some of the buys you see at 14 gold, 15 gold. Uh, went up to 23 gold. I think that was a strategic move where I just wanted to clear some out of the auction house. 
Here's one I got for 5, 16, 15. So you, you get the idea, they really do sell for those prices. So I'm not crazy, and the takeaway and what you need to learn from this is that it's necessary to do a little bit of observation in the auction house before you plunge in and start buying and selling stuff. Because I will not buy large radiant shard for this kind of 20 gold price. I, what I'll do is bide my time and wait until I see low prices below 15 gold and then I'll buy as many as I can get at that price and then I won't immediately turn around and try to sell them for two or three gold more even though I could make a sort of a profit doing that I'll wait until there are none available in the auction house and I'll put them up at 35 gold or I'll wait until the nearest competing price is 34 or 35 gold so now would not be a time to sell now is not a time to buy and that's true most of the time most of the time for any given item that you make a lot of money from it's not a good time to buy and it's not a good time to sell so you have to time things and wait and be patient in order to make the pipeline method work and in order to make big profits in the auction house this really is the absolutely key difference between making well in just look at this example I could if I paid attention to the auctioneer basics here the signals from auctioneer I'd be making about five gold each time I trade but I'm actually making 15 gold per sale and that's a huge difference if I if I move a hundred large radiant shards over a period of a month which is normal that's a difference of 10 gold per shard and obviously that's a thousand gold difference that's the difference between being a real winner in the auction house and just getting by it's the difference between spending a lot of time to get just a little bit of gold versus uh, spending a little bit of time I, I my limit is an hour a day on gold making to get really a lot of gold and I'm talking you know many thousands of gold per week so keep that in mind when I talk about target buy and target sell this is what I'm talking about but here just to summarize the specifics of today's pipeline of the day large radiant shard here's the stuff you need to know target buy price 15 gold target sell price of 30 gold uh, I, you should always sell it in a stack size of one never sell in stacks of five or twenty or whatever the sales volume is moderate might sell 15 to 30 a day on an average server and the supply and demand equation is that you've got low supply very steady demand and there's often none available and just as an extra little tip it's great when there are none available because if there's none there inexperienced players are going to come in and put these up at very very low prices based on looking at what the suggested starting price is given by the auction house itself and so that's when you start to see large radiant shards appearing in quantities for three gold or five gold and that's just a terrific profit making opportunity of course and the sales cycle is also part of the pipeline uh, formula so in this case the sales cycle typically is a weekly rise and fall of prices fairly predictable week after week and that's based on the way crafters are working when are the crafters active on your server and in other words the enchanters are making scrolls and they tend to do it certain days of the week when they're not doing other stuff let's put it that way so I find that it's often quite strong prices are high for uh, large radiant shards and a lot of other enchanting materials as well in the middle of the week and then low on the weekends when there's a lot more coming available as people are doing some instance runs and raiding and so that's it watch large radiant shard for a while and get to know how it works on your server and then make gold using the pipeline approach to maximize what you get for the amount of time you spend and remember to check twitter follow secret warcraft on twitter to get a pipeline of the day every day with the target buy and target sell prices that i suggest and you can also get a complete introduction details of how the pipeline method works and how you figure out these pricing formulas and so forth in Massive Gold Blueprint, which is my massive video gold guide.